Hello, and welcome, or welcome back to Emily Does Things, the show where Emily does things so you don't have to, or maybe you just might glean some inspiration of your own to do your own thing. Alright, so, if you know me, which maybe you do, maybe you don't, but if you do, you might know that I'm unhealthily, perhaps, obsessed with werewolves. Mm -hmm. So... Every fall, I marathon werewolf movies. Um, every Halloween as a kid, I used to be a werewolf. My mom would take me into Big Lots and uh, buy me one of those giant floppy werewolf masks that I just thought were the best thing ever. And that you could barely see out of. And there was like plastic creepy eyes that had little slits uh, over them that you could peer out at the out of the dark world on Halloween night and it was sweaty in there but I didn't care because well I just wanted to look like a werewolf and you know I had achieved that so I was willing to take the trade off um frankly and my mom would like put a plaid shirt on me and she'd do my makeup around my eyes so that you couldn't really see my skin through the the eye holes in the mask because I don't know um and well uh, Batman does it so there has to be something to it um she would paint my um hands with brown face paint to look like there was fur on them and send me out into the world well, I said that like she wasn't with me. She was with me. But it just sounds more dramatic that way. But anyway, I just thought it was the best thing ever. I thought I looked like a real werewolf. Um, and, I mean, to some people, I guess I did. Because I remember I walked up to this one house to get candy. And this kid, this like three-year-old maybe, little girl was like crying. So I had to take the mask off. And uh, I remember... The, like, I wasn't dressed like a princess or anything, so the woman at the door thought I was a boy. Uh, even after I took the hat off, I mean, the mask, which was kind of weird, but, you know, I mean, kids always, I guess, thought I was a boy. Anyway, that's a topic for another time, but, I mean, I, ha I had long hair back then, now I have short hair. So I don't know what it was that made kids ask that but I did dress like a boy all the time but anyway alas I digress um so yeah I I was always out a werewolf for Halloween but this this Halloween I think that I'm gonna go back to that because I haven't gone out for Halloween in a while I haven't even dressed up for Halloween in a while so I thought to myself um this this Halloween is gonna be different I'm gonna go back to my werewolf days except this time I'm not gonna be wearing a mask I'm gonna I'm, I think I'm gonna try to do my makeup. Like I want, I want to see how well that I can do it. I want to see if I can rival um, the Larry Talbot and the Wolfman. That's what we're going for. We're going for the vintage, like little the retro Wolfman look. Um, because honestly, I don't know. I feel like I just haven't given that look a lot of love. Uh over the years, and, well, I'm kind of coming back to it and realizing, like, yeah, that's pretty sick, I like it, the wolf, man, uh, so, another reason that this Halloween's gonna be awesome is, well, I know I've said that I marathon werewolf movies every fall, but this time, I have my great-grandparents' old TVs, their black-and-white TVs, and I did some research on, like, all of the adapters I would need. I, I need, like, three separate adapters to go from, um, well, I forget how old the TVs are. I think they're early 1990s, so, like, that's, what, 30-something years of the history of TVs I need to cover with these adapters. So, I forget what what all they're called. There's, like... Um, but anyway, the TVs have, like, these screws on the back that antennas would go on. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Um, one, like, the first adapter I need has, like, two little fork-looking things that attach to the screws. And then 
the last one um, has the HDMI hookup. So I was basically, yeah, I mean, you, you heard me right, folks. I want to give these black and white TVs HDMI capabilities. And I mean, I'm honestly a mad genius right now. And that's what I feel like. But that all that is to say, I'm going to use it to pl- both, um, well, play my favorite video game, Bloodborne, that also has werewolves in it. And I'm also going to use it to watch my werewolf movies <laughs> this fall. So that's going to be really cool. And it's going to, I don't know, I feel like it's going to be a really authentic experience. Because a lot of the werewolf movies I want to watch, especially this this fall and this Halloween, are the old black and white ones. Um, the Wolfman is also included in that. <sighs> but yeah, what else can I say about my werewolf obsession? Uh, I have done an excessive amount of werewolf art. Like, it's not all I do, but when I make werewolf art, I feel very at home, if you know what I'm saying. It just feels right. And this this patch is just a drop in the bucket of my werewolf art. And I'm uh, I'm really happy to be making it, nonetheless. But, yeah. I mean, I guess I'll just, like, flash some stuff up on the screen that I've made. And it really is a shame that I haven't started taking videos of my stuff sooner. Because I really think it's cool. I really think it's cool and... <clears throat> I don't know, like, I've always just felt, like, very private about my art until up until the recent years, and, uh, I don't know, it's like, I just thought making videos would be a whole bunch of work, and I wasn't really into it, and I didn't want people to watch me making art, even though I thought the idea was cool, it's like, the idea of doing it was like, oh my goodness, this is gonna be such a big undertaking, and it's so much easier just to just draw and not have anybody watching you and just pick up a pencil and just start, you know? And I also didn't have, like, a setup to be able to to draw at the time uh, on camera, which, w- that was the main thing hindering me. Aside from my fear, which I'm pretty much over the fear now, and now that I'm actually doing it, it's very fun. I'm... That's that's part of the reason I'm sad I haven't done it before. And also, I've just done so many art pieces since then. Like, can you imagine if I had, uh, like, put most of my pieces on video that I've already made? Like, I would have been, I would have had so many cool videos by now. But that's okay. You know, everybody's got to start somewhere. And my starting place is here. And I'm doing fine. And everything is happening how it's supposed to happen. Um... Uh, so yeah, what else? Um, I don't know, if you want to see some of my art, aside from what I just flashed up on the screen, oh my goodness, my throat, I'm getting over a cold, folks. Uh, I keep uh, downing sm- uh, vitamin C smoothie to help my throat. But yeah, if you want to see some of my art, um... Aside from what I flashed up on the screen, uh, my Instagram link is in the description below. Um, and now I guess that I'm obligated to talk about what I'm using in the video, uh, what I'm making and why, all that. So yeah, what I'm using is my favorite trusty fountain pen, the Kawiko Sport. Um, the ink I'm using is fountain pen ink, but it's um, it's the brand Noodlers. It's Noodlers Bad Black Moccasin. Um, it's, it's the best black ink that I know of because it's, like, waterproof. It's everything proof. Go look it up. It's amazing if you want some good ink. So I figured it'd be good, um, I don't know, to paint on, I mean, well, to draw on fabric with. Um... And I figured, you know, it probably is fine for the washing machine if you need to wash it, maybe. Uh, I'll, I might try heat setting it first, just to be safe in the dryer, or under an iron, uh, just to make sure. But I think, I think it's fine. Like, it should be. Um, 
and uh, you'll see me in a second here bring out um, my white paint for the eyes and stuff, which really, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm back at it again with the white paint. Ladies and gentlemen, it's true. Uh, it just really makes it pop. I like contrast. But anyway, um, this, basically I'm making a patch. I love making patches out of, uh, denim jeans and stuff. Like, out of old blue jeans and stuff. Like, you can just cut them up, paint on them, uh, ink on them, whatever you want to do. And it's absolutely amazing. And you should try it. And I'm thinking about selling these patches sometime. Um, I don't know if you see this and you want one, just message me or something, go on my Instagram, email me, whatever you need to do, emilygwynnart at gmail.com, I got your back, but anyway, <laughs> uh, what else, what else, um, well, this is a patch for my, uh, vest, I have this jean vest that I've painted Bigfoot on the back of. Uh, you might guess from my other videos that I have a pretty big obsession with Bigfoot as well. But there's nothing wrong with me being obsessed with giant, hairy um, creatures, whatever, you know. I don't know. Chewbacca is also one of my obsessions. Look, maybe I have a problem, but alas. Yeah, this is my, my vest. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like everybody has kind of a signature little trademark thing that they wear. Mine's that vest and my backwards uh, hat. But, yeah. Oh, we're coming up. Okay, yeah, I'm doing the teeth and the eyes and white paint. Like I, like I promised. See, doesn't that just look so much better? That looks freaking amazing. I was astounded when I started doing that for this patch. I was like, wow, that really completes it. Ugh. And then... It looks like some, there's something missing, so I go back in and do some little lines to look like he's surprised or, like, angry. He angry. He angry. Yep. Oh, it looks like we're nearing the end of the video. I'm sorry to say. Um, <laughs> so, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited about this channel, and where it might go, um, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, um, if you enjoyed what I did here today, please like and subscribe, um, I would really appreciate that, but you do not have to, but, you know, I mean, I don't know, part of me always gets annoyed when people say like and subscribe, but then sometimes, Sometimes when they say that, it makes me like and subscribe. But uh, the other part of me is like, you know, if if people really like it that much, then they'll just do it without you telling them. But I, I don't know. Look, I read... I'm new to this, okay? And I read <laughs> that if you say, like, please like and subscribe, then more people will. I don't know if that's true. But, like, I don't know if I won't even want to go down that road because I'm like, I want them to do it of their own free will. And not just because I said so. Anyway, whatever. Do whatever you want, guys. If you're watching this, if you watch it to the end, if you watch it at all, um, you know, there's a special place in my heart for you. Peace out. Good night.